Hello, hello! Welcome back to Let's Build Alton Towers. Uh, obviously in the last episode, if you missed it, we built Oblivion, uh, which you can see here. Um, now, next to Oblivion is the world's, uh, well, the roller coaster with the world's most amount of inversions of 14, which is the Smiler. Now the Smiler is, is infamous for good and bad reasons. Um, in you know around the world really as a, as a roller coaster it is a very um a very intense very fun coaster um obviously with 14 inversions you wouldn't expect anything less really um so what i i'm going to be doing in this episode is starting off from scratch here um in this green section is where the smiler sits um kind of just you know ne next to oblivion um but also in its own sort of section so uh, I probably will be moving these trees and this road out the way just so I can fit it all in and um, so yeah that is the plan for this episode uh, and I will come back once I've got a bit of an update and once I've uh, kind of I don't know got a uh, got a bit of the way through making some sort of progress because it's not the easiest coaster to build as was Oblivion um, so I'm, I imagine this is going to be another time consuming build for me but We'll see. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so after what has definitely been the longest time I've spent building any coaster or, or any ride at all in this recreation so far, um, I have finally built my Smiler layout. Um, so there, there she is. There's the Smiler. Now, there's a couple of things on this. I've obviously, I mean, at the minute, I've just got the track layout and I've got the queue line layout, which is as confusing as it looks. Um, and I've got my little entrance sign, which I still need to do work on the on the main entrance. Um, but yeah, so so this is so this is where I'm at at the minute. Now, one thing that I have struggled with um, just before anybody like picks up on the uh, on on the details of it, I'm not a hundred percent happy with the angle that the ride is at. So essentially, the the actual entrance would be about here. And the coaster itself would be probably a little bit more rotated. So, um, for example, if I if I just shift this round, it'd probably be at more of that sort of angle. Um, about yeah, about 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 there. So but the reason I've not gone for that is because to get the coaster in here, the, the track would be hanging over that path just there, and I don't like the fact that it's there. Um, where it is there is as good as I can probably hope for and I don't think it is actually that far off what the actual coast in real life is is like it does it you know just sort of hang over the very start of X sector uh, I just didn't want it kind of going over this main path I want it to be sort of still a little bit secluded I mean it's not in the in the real park it's not that obvious from this path the smiler it is still a little bit hidden behind the trees but then once you get around here that's when you can see it however getting in this space and getting the coaster the right sort of size and the right scale that was as good as i could probably hope for um but i'm still i'm, I'm still very happy with it um if we just click on it uh is it, it should be test oh no it's not testing because i've just been altering it haven't i um, so yeah, so the, this it's got three trains running um, because there is two uh, there is um, two sets of block uh, block brakes around the track um, for the two sort of halves of the ride. Um, but just while we're, just while that's going around, if we uh, if we click on it, uh, oh actually no, I need to uh, speed it up to get the test results because that's what I'm <laughs> that's what I'm just going to talk about. So uh, yeah, we'll speed this up and get the trains going around the track. Um, but I, th I think overall, overall, I'm very happy with it. There, there is a few bits that you may you might think, you might look at it and think a little bit sharp, but I, I don't think it's I don't think it's too obvious when you uh, when you look at it. So uh, yeah, I'm 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 very happy with how it's uh, how it's done. To be fair, so we should be able to yeah. So we've got some results now. So if we just uh, have a look at these, actually, if we uh, just speed this up a sec. So the duration is the first one. So there, that's 165 seconds, which is what two minutes, two minutes twenty, two minutes twenty-four. 
No, two minutes forty-four. What am I about? Two minutes forty-four. According to uh, according to Wikipedia, the uh, the knowledge of all information, uh, the duration is two minutes forty-five on um, on the Smiler. So I'm within a couple of seconds. I'm very happy with that track length. Uh, track length on here is one two two two. In real life, it's one one seventy. I can take that. I can take being out a little bit on there because it's very hard to get the to get the length right on, on this. Uh, drop on this is twenty six meters. In real life, it's thirty, uh, and max speed fifty two miles an hour, uh, fifty seven. So again, very very similar. So uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of you know, in terms of getting the stats right. It is it is as, as close as I could probably hope for. Um, I'd say the only bit I'm not one thousand percent happy with is this last little section, where um, where you kind of go up, uh, you you do like a an an upward uh, inline twist, and then you almost kind of do another uh, inline twist to go then round this bend, and back in. Um, it just goes a little bit slow, and I'm I, and genuinely, it's just a little bit too too slow for me. Any what for me anyway? What I think, but I w without tweaking the you know the whole second half of the coaster again, um, just to get a little bit more speed there. It gets around the track and it doesn't all like, almost stop. So I will uh, I will take it there, and I'll um, yeah I'll be quite happy with that. Um, so uh, yeah, I've, just, I've just had to just had to adjust the queue line because I have lowered it recently. Um, so yeah, so that is the um, that is the Smiler, uh, and I'm very happy with how that's come out. I will now go on to uh, to theme it, which will uh, yeah, it will take a lot longer than than it, it did building it. As you can see, I'm at eighty seven percent now. Once I finish theming this, I'm expecting around the sort of ninety three, ninety four. Um, so I'll have about 6% left to play with. Um, but once this is done, all the, the rest of the pathing in, in X sector will all sort of join up um, because once the smile is done, X sector itself will be uh, will be completed. Um, so there you are, there's just an overview of, of X sector. Um, now, I, I did visit Alton Towers recently myself. Um, unfortunately, the smiler is shut, so I couldn't get, I couldn't get any photos of the inside of there. Um, but coming back, the only thing I have changed in here is the arcade over here is called Excite, um, Excite Games as opposed to X Sector Games, which I had it called originally. Um, so yeah, so uh, yeah, hope, hopefully you, uh, hopefully you do, uh, you do like that replica. Um, but I will go on now to um, to continue theming this, and I imagine this is going to take some time. Um, the other thing I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do because what I was doing was I was obviously building the um, building the queue line. Uh, I mean the queue line for the Smiler is probably not very good for anyone who's claustrophobic because you are pretty much locked into like metal cattle pens um, all the way around all the way around and underneath the ride. And what what I've basically done is building through there. Um, it gets rid of a lot of the supports. So, for example, this section here, there is no support all the way along the queue line until you get to here. So, I am going to have to put some custom supports in there just to, uh, you know, ju just to bring out the realism because obviously that wouldn't be the uh, that wouldn't be the case. Um, and then I'm going to have to make the indoor section just down here um, because when it starts off. The ride goes into an indoor section. Um, you do a lot. You do a small inversion, and then it stops in the tunnel uh, before bringing you out. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to start doing the indoor section as well. Um, but yeah, no, I'm. I'm looking forward to theming it. I'm very looking forward to you know to having it finished because um, I think it will look really good and I think it will really. I mean, when when you zoom out of here, I think this you know the park itself will look fantastic all on um, all on that side when uh, when X sector is done, um, but. But yeah, so uh, ju just down here, the other thing I'm going to have to sort of tweak is um, this access road. Obviously, the Smiler isn't normally this close to it, but just the scale of the game. Um, I'm going to have to build the access road kind of going down the back here um, to join on just to uh, just to get that there. And then I'll probably fill in the, the rest of the gap over here with trees just to kind of complete the area um, and see where we go from there. But uh, yeah, I shall see you. Uh, I shall see you shortly. Um, well, shortly for you watching this within a couple of seconds, probably in many hours for me, 
uh, once I've themed the Smiler. So, uh, yeah, see you in a moment. Right, so um, halfway through theming, um, I thought I'd I thought I'd do a, a small update now, just because um, otherwise going through everything in one go at the end would um, would you know be a little bit too much. So essentially, what I've done, uh, I've started the uh, well, I started the entrance here, uh, which has the uh, smaller sign. It has the two entrances to so the main entrance and the fast pass. Um, I've done similar to what I did on the Spinball Wizard ride, where I've done the fast pass entrance here. Um, but obviously in this game you have the fast pass has to join on here um, as a separate queue off the main one so uh, I've just kind of done like a fake path here um, annoyingly can't seem to get rid of this little grass bit um, so I, I mean I'll probably just end up spraying that as a uh, as tarmac in fact you know what I'll do that now um, while I remember it because <laughs> uh, knowing me I will uh, certainly just end up forgetting there we go look at that look, look at the difference that makes there we go. Lovely jubbly. Right. So, yeah, Smiler entrance. Um, now, the queue line for the Smiler. Um, oh, the other thing is uh, I just want to thank uh, MavsFam4 um, for the idea. So basically around the sign here, there's loads of security cameras pointing in all different angles. And I wasn't sure how to make a security camera because they're quite small and the security, cam security camera in the game is fairly big. So he suggested using the this wooden bracket. Um, and the shape of it actually from from a distance looks like a security camera um, so yeah very uh, very thankful for that tip because uh, I'm quite pleased with how that kind of turned out um, so yeah the main queue for the Smiler uh, most days you can just kind of walk up and go through uh, other days there is a gate uh, and you have to go around the extended path so you'll have to go all the way down here all the way around you have like an extended bit um, of Q and then you go back down back down the edge back through and then you go down um, so yeah so we'll go down here and as you can see I mean the the queue line is basically an enclosed cattle pen that sits underneath the ride um, so that you know the whole thing is going off over your head pretty much um, for the duration of the queue line now some of it is undercover as you can see here some of it isn't um, and it kind of just varies as you go through. This may not be perfect to what is the real life queue line. However, you get that lost in the real life queue line. And I've been getting that lost on the pictures that I've kind of done it as, as best as I uh, I would believe it you know, to be. You, you, you get the sense. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with different parts of the queue line. Um, so yeah, this is essentially uh, you know essentially how the Q line works. The smiler, it's just a cattle pen all the way around, all the way around, back and forth, back and forth until you get round here, and then you go back and forth, back and forth, and then you go into a small show building um, before then going up to the station. Now the station again is a little bit higher than uh, than what it is in real life in the sense of you don't go up all of these stairs. However, just to get the height on the ride for the mechanics of this game, um, it has had to be as high as it is. So I'm gonna I'm I'm making do with that, and I will put the building around the queue line here, um, just so uh, you know, ju just so it uh, all blends in with the theme. Now we get into the station. Uh, all the operators and the staff here are all in yellow and black, because oh, that is the theme of the Smiler. The operator's booth is actually above the uh, above the first drop, so I've got the operator in there with the door and the staircase up. Um, just have to ignore this fella here with his uh, <laughs> with his own operating box. Um, but yeah, so essentially you go down into a um, into a small indoor area. You have the first inversion, and then you sit in a tunnel here that has ha 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 written down the side. Uh, on both sides, hence why I've uh, pulled this wall out just to kind of show you how I've been doing it. So this wall is, um, I've just spaced it out enough. So once I've got the ha 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 written on this bit, I will then copy that over onto here and pull the wall back in. Um, but as you're sat there, you're getting played with laughter. Now the soundtrack to the Smiler is the most irritating but brilliant music you will ever hear. Um, you can search for it on YouTube. Um, I won't. Will I put it in? I may put it in the video. I may not. Um, we'll see at this point if I have decided to do that. Um, 
Um, but it is, as I say, it is a very annoying laughter that just plays throughout the queue line and throughout the station and the train has to sit here um, and you listen to it again um, before obviously going up, going around the ride. Um, and then over here um, where the train goes quite low to the ground, there's like a small pit uh, with arrows in it. Now I need to replicate that uh, over on this section where you can see that the uh, the track is sunk into the ground at the minute. Um, and I mean, the whole ride itself is actually sort of in a pit. Um, it, you know, there is sort of concrete walls all the way around, concrete flooring. Um, so yeah, the whole thing is is in a pit. I've just got to go around with the fencing around the edge of all of the ride um, and, uh, and finish that off. And then once I've done the exterior, as you can see, I've been kind of doing, I've been kind of jumping from one thing to another because that's just how my mind works in terms of, in terms of building. Um, I'm not focused on finishing one area i get bored quite quickly so um i try and uh, try and jump around to keep my uh, motivation high um then on the exit um so the exit in the smiler you kind of go up the back and over the top and you just stay in a corridor for quite a while um and then you go down and it's quite it's quite a trippy exit um it's all yellow and black it's all swirls and arrows and so that's what i've done which leads you into the smiler shop um i need to have a look see if that is viable to do that there um if it is i will do it i would like to do it um but i will you know i will kind of make that decision once i finish with the ride first and then uh yeah and then the ride just leads you out and you walk back round near where oblivion comes out of the tunnel um but yeah that is uh that is pretty much the theming as it is at the moment um as you can see i have spent a lot of time placing fencing I love fencing, really like fencing. Did I tell you how much I love fencing? I love fencing. Um, so yeah, I spent a lot of time building that uh, and I will uh, I will just continue now. But as I say, I just wanted to do like a, a halfway update just because there's so much going on around here that I didn't want to then rush it through um, afterwards and kind of miss anything. So uh, yeah, I will, uh, I will be back shortly once um, touch wood. I uh, once I've finished it. Right then, the big reveal. Drum roll, please. Here is the Smiler. So, um, after hours upon hours upon hours of theming this thing, um, very pleased it's finally done, um, and I'm very happy with the outcome. Um, if I'm if I'm totally honest, uh, really really pleased with it. Um, I, th I don't think I could have, um, you know, I, I could spend more and more time tweaking it. I've, I've tried to record this video probably about four or five times and then finding a small detail that I want to change. Um, so, yeah, I could sit and, and keep adding and adding and adding to it. Um, but uh, I'm, I think at this point I'm quite happy with how it is. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is um, this is the Smiler. Obviously, this is the entrance we saw last time. Um, the big thing... As you can see here, is the Smiler structure itself um, with the five legs. So you've got the hypnotizer, the inoculator, the tickler, the flasher, and the giggler. Um, each leg has a different sort of thing. So the giggler's got this little spray coming out. The flasher obviously has uh, flashing lights on it. Um, the this one's a tickler, isn't it? Yeah, the tickler's got the uh, got like, little brushes on. So I've used the hay the hay bales for that. Uh, the inoculator has just got again more more sort of barrels, and then the hypnotizer does what it says on the tin hypnotizers. Um, so I've just kind of used these. Um, I've used the lollipop um, sticks, which is basically how I've used, how I've made this sign here. Um, it's just this little spiral piece is uh, is just a lollipop stick, which you can see there. You can see the actual shape of it uh, just hidden in the sign, and I've done exactly the same there. But all I've done is I've hid the lollipop stick. You can just see the edge of it there. there. Um, I've just hidden it behind the beam, so uh, yeah, you can't you can't really see that. And then I've just put the wheel in front to give the sort of hypnotizing effect. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously in real life, this is this is a screen, and the screen is constantly playing just video clips of people being like hypnotized, etc. Um, obviously, we can't have a live screen like this. So uh, yeah, I've just had to make do with that. But uh, no, I'm I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. Uh, I think that look, you know, I think that looks really effective. Uh, in terms of the rest of the, the rest of the theming, 
Uh, obviously over here we have the halfway uh, corrector. So halfway around the track, uh, the train comes to a halt here. You kind of sit still, look at the screens, and then you go up a vertical climb. Um, one thing I haven't pointed out at the moment is the vertical climb here. You will notice that this isn't a chain lift. Um, in real life, this is a chain lift. However, as much as this coaster is here to represent, um, you know, re represent the Smiler uh, in the way that everything is designed, uh, unfortunately, you can't make a vertical lift hill with a chain on this coaster type. You can on others, but you can't on this one. So what I've had to do is I have made th this is all one long um, holding brake. So basically, um, the holding brake takes the coast all the way up, and then there's a short pause, which you may have just seen at the top there. There's a short split second pause, and then it carries on again. So, uh, so yeah, so that's that's what I've done there. Um, can't really do much else there, but uh, I, don't, I mean, it's not really you know, it's not really a, a major deal. It's still, the coaster still goes up, and still the track layout is still the same. It's just a different method of uh, of getting it up. In all honesty. Um, and then we've just got sort of like a, a maintenance bit down here um, with the stairs coming up down here. This, these are the small details that I, I keep talking about. So when I've been smoothing out the coasters, um, the custom supports have moved. So the bases of um, the bases of all the, the you know, the, all the sort of um, supports of the coaster are all custom, mainly because the floor is all concrete. Okay, so obviously you can see that the guest feet are going through the floor because this is all one giant building essentially. Um, you can see there, it's just one giant building. Um, so because of that, the supports all go through the, the concrete, as you can see here. So to, to sort of counteract that and to make it look a bit more realistic, because you know, let's face it, it doesn't look that realistic when they, they just go through the floor like that. Um, I've just kind of gone around and put on custom bases like that just to give it a bit more of a realistic feel again you know i keep, I keep spotting different bits here it's where i've it's where i've um, done a bit of smoothing on the coaster um and the you know the supports have slightly changed position or a new supports come in um but yeah so uh, we're going down here through the uh, through the queue line as we did last time uh it's just sort of going back and forth back and forth and then you come over here under this section back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth and then you get inside now <clears throat> on this section of the queue line this is this is all pretty dark and it has um there's like a projector with the smiler's logo on the wall um it's all fairly dark in here as i say there's lots of um it's kind of like quite a mood setter in here um but what i've done is i've just put a bit of lighting on here just to kind of give the effect inside I can't really do much else to kind of replicate inside here because there isn't that much to replicate. It's just it's mainly the the lighting to try and replicate. That's that's kind of it. Around here we have the bag drop. Now, what used to be um, what used to be a popular system um, across all the UK theme parks um, was you used to go in, you give your bag to a, a member of staff there. They would give you a key ring with a number on. They put your bag in that in that slot, and then when you come off the ride, you give them the key ring back, and they give you your bag back. Um, I think because of COVID, they're trying to limit the, uh, you know, limit the contact between um, obviously people's hands passing items. So uh, they now use lockers instead. Um, so yeah, I've, I've I've put that in there, but I've locked it. You know, I've I've kind of put the shutter there just to uh, just to show what that kind of uh, what that kind of is now. So yeah, we're back in the station now. Uh, so. Obviously, we've got the rows one to one to four. Over here, we have these sort of yet they're sort of like cone-looking lightings. So you've got the cone, you've got the circle, and then just three lighting panels. Because um, obviously, it's a bit like a scientific experiment, really. The smaller is. Um, so yeah, you've got those you've got those lights there, and then just some standard lighting here. Uh, obviously, the operator's booth is actually above where the train goes here. So build that in with the time machine, which is part of the coaster, uh, as you'll see shortly. Smile always. Um, just put a couple of vents in here. These are these uh, these are these little stickers. Uh, yeah, facade decal vent. There. Um, yeah, you know, it's just a small detail to add to the uh, add to the building. 
Lockers, exactly the same as what I've used on the uh, on Spinball Wizard uh, and on Oblivion. I've just done them a different colour, obviously. Uh, members of staff, yellow and black, as you can probably expect. Uh, and then out the back here. Now this is the only th part that I'm not I'm not particularly over the moon with, but I've kind of done the best I can. So essentially, um, obviously I've had to try and fit the coaster within the within the gap here. Now, before the lift hill here, this tunnel goes on a little bit longer. Um, so it probably doesn't start rising till about here. And because of that, um, the transfer track is actually above this section. It's in this building here, and this building goes quite a bit further back. Um, now, because it's so tight, I've had to put a piece of track in there. Um, but it's not quite the size that I'd like it to be. Um, the train obviously isn't going to fit to go out there and switch over. However, I just, you know... I couldn't really adjust it any further um, without messing up the rest of the layout. And because of that, I've kind of made do with, with what I've got there and built, you know, built a small backstage area just here. We have a doorway onto some access stairs out the back that go down. And then we have another doorway goes to here, goes to that door, goes to this door and back into the station. So, yeah, it can be accessed all over. I have thought about all of that. Um, and... Yeah, and then I'll just quickly show you the exit, um, and then we'll finish on you know finish by going on the ride. So the exit is very it's very much like a um, it's a bit of a maze really. Every everywhere is yellow and black. There's yellow and black panels, yellow and black strips on the walls. So that's what I've kind of gone for here, just kind of giving off that effect all the way down. Um, th this is probably more more like um, most of the walls inside. So again, just the yellow walls with the black strips on. And then you go into the Smiler Shop. Um, now the Smiler Shop, just here. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sitting and replicating every item that is for sale on the Smiler. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously down here we've got the uh, we've got the on-ride photo section uh, where you can go and buy them. Uh, we've got Tommy CM T-shirts, yeah. <laughs> As as most of you know, that goes in every single park I've got now. My uh, my little t-shirts. Um, got a drinks cabinet just here, uh, and then candles. Why not? Why not? Why not buy some candles? I don't think I've ever seen candles on sale in Alton Towers, but why not? Um, so yeah, ju I've just put a few items in there just to just to kind of make the building, you know, because obviously the guests do walk through it just to make the building have a purpose. Um, and then the shop is called Buy the Smiler. So, uh, yeah, and then you walk out here, and you walk out onto the edge of the ride. Um, so, yeah, I'm, uh, like I say, I'm very uh, very pleased with how it's turned out. Um, very, uh, you know, as a, looking at it as an overall thing, um, I think it does look great. But the only part of the, uh, oh, sorry, obviously I've done the pipe work as well around the building, which is uh, a lot of fun, that is, trying to... I feel like I'm playing, you know, one of those like plumbing app games where you, you kind of try to make the water lead to another. I'm trying to, I feel like I was playing one of them trying to make this pipe system. Um, but uh, yeah, the only part of the track I'm not 100% happy with is this last little stretch here where there's kind of like an inline twist and then almost a full inline twist. And then it kind of holds to the, it holds to the left here and it stays banking to the left until it's back round and goes straight. Um, so yeah, I'm not 100% happy, but without with, with, without tweaking it and tweaking it even more and get getting the pace um, right is very difficult because it I can I I've, um, I did smooth it out quite well, but by doing that the train almost came to a halt as it got around this corner, and I'd rather it look a little bit more rough on that section. And not be stopping as opposed to being smooth and almost stopping if that makes sense i had to I, it seems i had to sacrifice one but I'm, i may have another tweak off camera but i was already um i was already kind of at my limits there <laughs> um but yeah other than that i think that's uh, that's my only sort of um quibble with the ride so uh after all that i think it's time that we finally give the smiler a uh, a ride so let's uh Let's speed this up and get some people in. Here we go. Uh, and we want train two there. Let's sit in the middle. And uh, yeah. Let's, are we getting on yet? Oh, these guys look determined. 
Here we go. Right, sit back and enjoy the Smiler. And there we go. That was the uh, that was the Smilers on ride POV. Um, as I say, you know, you probably noticed towards the end there that that little bit that, that looked a little bit rough. Um, but it, what I do find, and I've said this, I've said this before in a couple of videos. I find that if you watch a coaster like off the ride, it actually looks a lot smoother than it feels when you're watching the POV. Um, and so, you know, so I think sometimes you kind of got to bear in mind what it actually looks like when you're not on it, um, because I think it looks a lot better and nicer. And I think that I think this Smiler here um, is one of those one of those rides. Um, you know, other rides do do feel good on it, um, but some don't. And, and I think that's just what I found anyway. Um, but yeah, so that uh, that wraps up the Smiler. That wraps up X Sector. Um, and, uh, yeah, that really, uh, you know, really puts us, really puts us quite a way into, uh, into replicating Alton Towers. I'm just sort of zooming out so you can see the whole park. Um, so that is what we've built so far. Um, really pleased with that. One thing I don't think I've actually shown on a video yet. Um, and again, I've got the, uh, I've got the legend of PlayStation to thank, Boz Midget Slayer. You'll notice at the front here this big yellow, uh, this big yellow circle. He has made me an Alton Towers logo, and just how fantastic does that look? That looks superb. It it really really does. Now obviously, um, obviously the logo normally fits on uh, normally fits on this building. Unfortunately, Boz, although he's a magician, he's he's not Jesus. He's not a miracle worker. Um, so uh, <laughs> he couldn't quite shrink it down that small, but I think that looks fantastic like that. I think it really does look superb, um, and I, I can't thank him enough for that. I I didn't even ask him to make that. He just sent me he just sent me a photo saying, "Can you guess what I'm making?" And I was like, "I've no idea. What why are you making?" And they showed me a lo another clue, and I saw it, and I couldn't believe it. So yeah, thank you so much for that, Boz. Um, so uh, so yeah, that is Alton Towers up to now. Um, and just so you just so you can see at the bottom there, I'm on ninety six percent on the build counter. Um, so I have another four percent to play with, and then I I can maybe use the uh, maybe use the glitch and stretch it out a little bit further. Uh, I've just got to decide what I want to do now. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the towers themselves up here. Um, so that will probably be the next episode. Uh, because I think if I start doing stuff down in Mutiny Bay down here, there's too much down there to fit in on the rest of this map. So if I build the towers, then that'll be a nice sort of 
um, finishing point for this map, um, I imagine. But yeah, I've still got to plan that out in my head. I'm not 100% sure yet. So who knows? You may, you may tune in next week and uh, see a completely different plan. But um, but yeah, thank you for thank you for watching that. Thank you for your kind comments on previous videos. If you have enjoyed the video, please do um, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Um, it really helps me out. And if you do want to see what I do with the rest of Alton Towers, um, if you've liked what I've seen so far, then do uh, hit that subscribe button. And hopefully you will enjoy um, what else I bring on this series. And I shall see you next week at 7pm. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.